Then we have to talk about this. I thought this was flipping hilarious again, courtesy of TMZ. Kanye West is sued um, <laughs> for the Donda Academy for only feeding the kids their sushi. Imagine Kanye West, Donda Academy sued for only feeding the kids sushi. The horror, the absolute horror, right? How dare they only give them sushi? So courtesy of TMZ says Kanye's private Christian school only feeds students one thing for lunch, sushi. And they apparently have to eat it on the floor without tables or chairs. This according to a new lawsuit. This is, no wonder Kanye was looking so snatched then, right? No wonder he was looking so snatched, right? He was flipping intermittent fasting and only eating flipping sushi every single day. One meal a day, only eating sushi. No wonder he was able to fit into all those cool fashion clothes. I might have to flip and go on that diet also, I think. It goes, um, Ye and his Donda Academy are being sued by two black women who said that they were fined for teaching positions at the school for two reasons. Retaliation to a sound in the alarm on alleged education, health and safety code violations and for their race. So two black women got annoyed that Kanye was only feeding them sushi because what? They wanted rice or something. Is that what they wanted? They wanted some noodles. They wanted something substantial to add to it. They wanted a bit of bread <laughs> on the side of their sushi to eat with it. Come on, sisters, man. Leave brother, leave brother Kanye alone. It continues that according to a lawsuit obtained by TMZ, the women say that they were the only black teachers employed by Donda when they were hired full time early this year. How can you sue somebody from racism if they hire you and you're black? Doesn't make any sense, in it? A bit weird. Stop flipping. Um, what's that thing called? Stop prejudicing me based on the color of my skin and also stop giving me money. Um, and they say that it didn't take long for them to notice numerous health and safety violations. Among the alleged issues, the women say that only lunch option available to students is sushi every single day. <laughs> to be fair, though, eating sushi every single day does sound like a bit of a nightmare. I'm not going to lie. As much as I love, as much as I love Shake Shack, as much as I love Fight Five Guys, and all that stuff like eating that stuff or Popeyes every single day could be a bit of a horror show among the issues the woman said the only lunch option was sushi every single day the students are not allowed to bring any outside food or drink except for water the suit claims Kanye spends 10 grand a week on sushi that's actually a flex to be fair I was actually talking to somebody earlier today and I was saying my kind of goal in life I think overall is to not kind of move away from the UK for the most part. Maybe I'll go somewhere else in the UK. Maybe I'll go somewhere else outside London. But I'd love to just have this to be my home base and to make enough in a month that I can kind of go and visit places randomly for the week and come back. So once a week, go to like a cool little techno city party, come back and all that sort of malarkey. That'd be the great way to be. And then, you know, just have like a little, you know, two grand budget, five grand budget, right? That I just use to kind of spend and go and do my thing. That would be perfect. That's, that to me is luxury. That to me is living lavish. So if Kanye actually loves sushi and that's his actual meal, being able to afford spending 10 grand a week on sushi is actually what people should be doing with their money. Right? That's what you should be doing. If you're rich and you're famous and you have the ability to do what you want, whether it's traveling, whether it's playing golf every day or playing just video games, you should just double down and do it whatever you love yeah you know i mean that's what you should actually double down and do not all this other frivolous stuff like buying birkins or this nonsense they don't care about like actually do the stuff that you enjoy so i think this is actual flex personally for me i don't see anything wrong with this in the slightest pulling up to your favorite sushi restaurant wearing some fucking amazing bits with your bad b chilling driving your little flipping maybach truck what more can life have it continues what's more the teachers claim kind of did not allow <laughs> <laughs> i hope this is real i hope this is real what's more the teachers claim that kanye did not allow crossword puzzles or coloring sheets at donder academy classes could take place on the second floor because kanye is afraid of stairs <laughs> and Ye didn't want children using forks or utensils kanye doesn't like crossword puzzles <laughs> <laughs> what's his beef with crossword puzzles i'd love to find out what he does at crossword puzzles and why he doesn't like coloring sheets i guess maybe the coloring sheets i can kind of get because kanye hates to be like put in boxes he hates to be you know what i mean he hates to kind of have lines around him so maybe the idea of a coloring sheet and you know paint by numbers that kind of stuff kind of drives him mad because someone's telling him where to paint um, he's not allowed to be free and creative and artistic and paint outside of the lines, outside of the box, all that sort of stuff. So that can make sense. But I'd love to know why Kanye did not allow crossword puzzles because that sounds really funny and really, really dumb. 
Um, it also goes here, the suit, the suit alleges Kanye did not allow artwork to be hung on the walls and no one was allowed to wear jewellery simply because he did not like jewellery. The art on the walls I kind of get because if you're one of those kind of people that has like live, laugh, love on your flipping wall or I don't know, some funny little quote or something, then go fuck yourself. Either you put some actual art on the wall or you don't. But printing out flipping, you know, Tumblr and Instagram and flipping um, Pinterest sayings and placing them on your wall and thinking that's art is not good. Especially if you're a female. Because if you're a woman and you put those things on your wall and a guy comes back to your house, he's, he most likely thinks he's going to get soppy toppy. Any lady's house you walk into that's got one of those flipping live, laugh, love things on the flipping wall, you know you're going to get into some freaky time. So if you don't want to send out those messages, please tear down your walls now of those flipping, you know, um, phrases and whatnot. Because I promise you, I promise you, there's some freak nicks out there who are going to be looking at it and thinking it's a beckoning call. It continues. The teachers even claim Kanye did not allow chairs, forcing teachers' children to sit on foam cushions or stand, while teachers were relegated to standing or using a stool. So more teachers should actually stand, to be fair. I remember having teachers in my school who would get up from their chair. You'd see their flipping, you know, builders bum and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, more teachers should probably stand up anyway. Um, Don's Academy suit says um, required everybody to wear all black from head to toe. As you can see in the class there, that's obvious. They all had to wear the flipping Gap Donda merch with foam runners. That's not too bad of an outfit. It's a little bit cultish, but I don't mind it, to be fair. A nice relaxed t-shirt. You've all got the same stuff on, so there's no bullying, right? It's all uniform stuff, so that kind of gets rid of that. There's no rich or poor when you're wearing these sort of garments. Same shoes, really comfortable and whatnot. You can wear them with socks or without socks. Let your feet breathe. Nothing wrong with this. I kind of like it. The teachers claimed that the school doors were physically locked from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay now it's getting a bit spooky from the outside during the school day and students weren't allowed to go outside until they went home with the entire school pre-kindergarten through 12th grade taking lunch and recess at the same time <laughs> and they've got this random picture of who who's this guy isn't that um isn't that one of the flipping um singers they've got a random picture of one of those singer guys i forgot his name um eating sushi on a boat somewhere it looks flipping either it's a boat or it's some sort of um villa that looks out onto a flipping sea that was flipping beautiful though jonas brothers right it's one of the jonas brothers they got a random picture of him on there, the tmc article um the suit claims donda academy didn't didn't ha have a janitor or a school nurse and there was no trash cans um outside the classrooms or in the kitchen meanwhile so what do they do with trash then Connie doesn't believe in trash Meanwhile, they say students' with medication were stored in the closet with other expired medication just scattered around unsecured. Yeah, Kanye for sure doesn't believe in medication either. That's for sure. He does not believe in medication. And get this, the teachers claimed that there was no lessons planned or proper disciplinary procedures in place, resulting in students being undisciplined for multiple instances and bullying, um, and bullying assaults against peers and teachers. The teachers claimed that they would try to run the the issues up the flagpole and they were threatened not to reach out to Kanye of course you shouldn't man why are you reaching out to Kanye don't be a knock take care of it yourself the woman said that they were ultimately fired and they're blaming the termination of retaliation of racial discrimination they also claimed that their paychecks were not up was short of about 2700 per day so they're suing kind on academy for money man these women are bugging out they went to flipping the Donda academy and thought they were going to a hsbcu or something the guy's running you out of a flipping tent out of a portal cabin, out of some abandoned offices. What did you expect there to happen? Come on, man. These women need to chill out. Aunties need to chill. These aunties need to flip and chill, honestly. Aunties need to chill, relax. Let flipping Kanye run your school with sushi only. I'd go there. It's a school that you get snatched at. Yeah, you get snatched. You get some buccal fat in your cheek because you're only eating sushi. Nice, healthy diet. You get to wear some cool garms. You don't get disciplined. There's no spanking, no shouting, no detention. It sounds like heaven to me. Sounds like heaven to me. I'm not going to lie. It sounds like heaven to me. I don't see what people are complaining about. It sounds like a fucking perfect school. I'll be all over that. Anyway. Moving on. Moving on. So, moving on. We do that. Let's talk about this. So, I saw this randomly, right? Um, 